Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy to see you all here. So in one of my previous videos, I was covering bioinformatics file formats and in specific I was covering SAM and the BAM file format. If you recall, SAM stands for Sequence Alignment Map. So basically these files are alignment files. They store information about the read alignments. While I was going through the SAM file, uh, we went through various fields in a SAM file and one of the fields was SAM flags. At that point, I did not elaborate much on the SAM flags, but in this video, I want to take the time to understand these SAM flags and how to read them. So this is essentially how a SAM file looks and uh, just to give you a brief recap on what we discussed in one of my previous videos where we were talking about the SAM files, the upper section is the header section and the lower section is the alignment. Um, in the, he the header section starts with the at symbol and in the alignment section each row corresponds to one read. So basically it stores information about the alignment of that read and we went over the details of each of these fields in a detail in that video. So if you're not sure what video I'm talking about, I will uh, make sure that I will link that video uh, somewhere in this video or maybe put it in the description uh, below. So make sure you check that out. So these are the several fields that are present in the alignment section of the SAM file. And the field that we are going to focus on today is the second field, which is the SAM flag. So basically SAM flag is a combination of a bitwise flag, which uh, corresponds to various features and gives us information about various features of that read. So basically this field contains uh, certain numbers and these numbers tell us whether that read is mapped, whether that read is unmapped or whether that read is a PCR duplicate or many other features. So basically we can uh, take a look at um, the SAM flag lookup table, which is a table like this, where we can uh, take a look at uh, the feature that corresponds to the number. So in the example here, the third read corresponds to number 16. So the SAM flag for the third read is 16. And when we look at the table, 16 corresponds to the sequence being reverse complemented. So we know that the third read is being reverse complemented. Similarly, we can also, uh, there can be other uh, codes that can be present here, basically other numbers that can be present here. And we can take a look at this table and we can determine whether that read is unmapped or whether they are mapped or whether it's a PCR duplicate or whether the first segment, it's a, it's a first segment in the template or so on and so forth. I've obtained this table from the SAM file format manual and I will add the link to the same in the description below. Oftentimes the numbers here would directly correspond to the numbers in the table and we can uh, take a look at the features that corresponds to the number and we can determine uh, how that read is aligned to the reference. Uh, but sometimes there could be a um, scenario where um, the numbers here would be the combination of these numbers. So in that case, uh, I want to explain uh, as to how to determine what are the features that are associated with that particular read. So let's take a look at another SAM file, a SAM file like this, where if you look at the second column, which corresponds to the SAM flag field, you see the numbers 163, 83, 73, 99. And you go back to your SAM flag lookup table and you see that these numbers essentially are not present in the table. So for example, 163 is not present in the table. So basically you don't know as to what feature or features are associated with this read or how this read is aligned to your reference genome. As I said previously that these SAM flags are a combination of these numbers. So 163 is composed of several of these uh, flags uh, and this read has several features associated with it. But before I go ahead and explain um, how to determine what features are associated with these flags that are not present in the table, uh, many of you might be questioning as to uh, why is there a need to understand SAM flags and how are, how are we going to use these SAM flags. So let's say if you want to extract only those reads, if you want to subset those reads that are not mapped or maybe just want to subset reads which are PCR duplicates. If you know these SAM flags, then you can extract these reads from these uh, SAM files using the SAM flags. So it's important for us to understand these SAM flags and also uh, learn how to um, determine what are the features that are associated uh, with these uh, numbers. So let us take an example now. Um, let's take the SAM flag from the previous uh, SAM file that we saw. So one of the read had a flag of 163. So let us understand what are the combinations of the flags here that add up to 163. So the first step is to convert this number into a binary number. And we can do it online uh, on Google. 
so when i converted 163 to a binary number the binary number is 101 once we have this binary number we write these numbers uh, corresponding to the rows in the table so i'll show you how we do that so going from right to left we write these numbers in the table here so starting with 1 1 so i write 1 and 1 in each row followed by three zeros so i write 0 0 0 and one number corresponding in each row then followed by 1 so i write 1 followed by 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 so basically that's the binary number corresponding to 163 now i will highlight all those rows that correspond to number one so these are essentially the flags that add up to 163 so if you do the math if you add 128 plus 32 plus 2 plus 1 you will get 163 so basically these are the flags that are associated with the reads uh, so it is telling us or giving us more information about that read so the first flag here tells us that this the template having multiple segments in sequencing so it's basically telling us that this read is a paired read the next flag is telling us that each segment properly aligned according to the aligner so it's telling us that this read has a read mapped in proper pair uh, the next segment, which is the next flag rather, is the flag 32, which is the sequence of the next alignment uh, segment in the template being reverse complemented. So it's basically telling us that this read has uh, made its mate reverse stranded. And the last flag here tells us that the last segment, it is the last segment in the template. So basically this read is the second uh, read in the pair. So basically these flags are all associated with that read and is giving us more information about that read and how it is mapped to um, the reference. So let's take another example. In the previous example, we saw one of the read having a SAM flag value of uh, 73. So we first convert this into a binary number. And the binary number for 73 is 100001. Now going from right to left, we write each of these numbers in uh, the table with one number corresponding in to each row. So we start with 1, so we write 1 followed by 2 zeros, followed by another 1, so we write 1 followed by 2 zeros and followed by a number 1. So now I will highlight all the rows that correspond to number 1. So basically the SAM flag 73 corresponds to um, these uh, flags. So basically the flag 64 plus flag 8 plus flag 1. So that comes up to 73. So basically this flag is telling us that this read, the first flag tells us that the template having multiple segments and sequencing. So basically it is telling us that this read is a paired read. The next flag is next segment in the template unmapped. So it's basically telling us that the mate of this read is unmapped. And the last flag here is telling us that this is the first segment in the template. So basically this read is the first in the pair. So basically these are the flags that are associated with that read. Uh, and hence uh, these numbers add up to the number 73. And that is the number that corresponds to uh, that read. So that's all I had for today's video. I hope you understood uh, what are SAM flags, uh, how do you um, uh, identify what are the flags associated or what are the features associated with these flags and why are they important to know. So if you found this video helpful and informative, uh, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, share it and leave your comments under the comment section. Until next time, see you.